So we are seeing a huge demand um, in the different skills across uh, the fintech space and across all other industries that we work in. Um, there's some significant ga gaps, uh, particularly in engineering, not just around the skills, but around behaviours that organisations are looking for. Uh, so typically companies that we work with are looking for developers who are commercially aware, they work collaboratively, they understand business needs, um, and they're willing to work cross-functionally across different teams. Uh, that seems to be a, a huge gap at the moment um, and one that we are passionately trying to fill. So we believe that digital transformation starts with people transformation. The really important things for us is looking at engineering cultures within organisations and understanding if they are environments that are going to support and celebrate learning, continuous development and the right sorts of attitudes to help engineers progress. It's really important that all those kind of tenants are there and if they're not it's really hard to progress with digital transformation. So in terms of training tech talent, we really focus on teaching our engineers how to learn. We focus a lot on learning how to learn at Makers. Um, and this is things like understanding, picking up concepts, behaviours, principles, and also ways of working. So being very collaborative in their approach, uh, understanding business requirements and how these might change over time, and understanding the bigger picture and the different concepts. These are going to change in big organisations and it's important that the engineers that we are working with and training have an understanding of that so that they can be a big part of that. So we spend a lot of time getting to know the engineering teams at any partners that we're working with. That means understanding their approach to learning, how they give and receive feedback in those teams, what behaviours they prioritise, so are they using TDD, do they pair programme? Um, and once we have that understanding and we're confident that the environment is right for a maker, that's when we're happy to place makers within those teams. And the impact that we notice them having is phenomenal. So some of them are taking leadership roles and owning particular elements of product life cycles and joining centres of excellence even within six to 12 months. What we're looking for is the accelerated learning trajectory that the makers are on during the course to be continued when they're out on site with our hiring partners. Um, the more that the hiring partner can do to instill that and to support that, the more successful the maker will be.